Texas lawmakers are on a new mission right now to fight bullies in cyberspace. A proposal named for a teenager who killed himself would change how schools are dealing with the problem. Arjel Thomas live tonight in Arlington. It's new for you at 6. Yeah, and the kids today, when they leave their school, they can't just walk away from bullies because they're bullied right here, too. In fact, that proposed new law would be named after a young man who was so tormented by cyber bullies, he killed himself. 16-year-old David Moloch of San Antonio committed suicide after enduring months of cyberbullying. His family says the day he killed himself, he'd been the butt of cruel text messages sent by his peers. For people that, uh, that get their satisfaction out of dimming the lights of... Uh, of others, they need to know that sometime those, uh, those lights just don't come back on. A proposed new law would be named David's Law after the 16-year-old. It would require all schools in Texas put policies in place against bullying and cyberbullying. It would require schools to contact parents within 24 hours of their child being bullied and allow law enforcement to get subpoenas to unmask anonymous cyberbullies to reveal their identity. Uh, we want to make sure that our students are protected, uh, both inside and outside of school, but this law will um, reinforce what we already have in place. Right now, school districts like Arlington have had to decide on their own what the anti-bullying policies would be. The new law would set statewide standards. Arlington, for instance, has defined what it considers bullying and punishments for it, but David's law would give them more reach to pursue bullies off campus. We have um, some authority off campus just because if it affects uh, the students on campus, then that is something that we can um, control in, uh, somewhat, and so this will give us a little bit more authority than what we are currently have. Another change would allow, or another change rather, would be how bullying is reported in schools. It would require school districts to have a single reporting method so a student would know how to report bullying no matter which school they were in. Reporting live, Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.